<laughs> I know my role. <laughs> I can go get some paint too. Twenty one. Yeah, that's the outer edge of it, right? That's right here. Yeah. But I know we curved. Right. So the I think the, the trench is actually right here. Okay, so 21 would be work to use the pivot off of, and then you're just going to cut off of that straight back into the edge of the crotch. Yep. And you can use the three footer. Yep. I just don't know if I feel comfortable in this space going past the two footer because you might be right up against it, right where that rock is. Makes sense because that's where you were probably dumping it back in. Yeah. I don't think we can go into that hill anymore with those trees. No. So I'm, yeah, you know, so this is five feet. Yeah, so in best case scenario, you're talking about briefly where your tire truck is. Yep. That has to come out. And like I say, after, you know, we can keep it, we can keep it a little sharper. And then, like, you can bounce back out to the so I can stake it for you just where to turn with you. Yeah, let's uh because you know the further we get away from this, the more dirt I gotta put in. Yeah. So I mean obviously try to maybe carve into the hill there even a little bit and square it out. Yep. Like right here it'll start to square with what you've already got. Like as I stand here, square it here, cut it in a little bit. You got a good line now, right off that tree. And like I said, I want to have the ability to put enough dirt between. I don't know. It's going to be right on the edge of that drain. The ability to drive through here with the lawn. Yep. So that's that's basically out here. By the time you get the five inches setback, yep. it's going to be. So I don't know what we got here. We're gonna have to play a little. Hope that we didn't go bad. We probably were okay. It's just like, yeah. You think you're out there? Well, I'm just looking. I think it's done right. I don't think we were where you're standing. No, I think we were. Because we right. talked about it. We we talked about it quite a bit. So yeah. Right through here. What I think. Okay. Well, I, th I think you're gonna be good. Yeah, because I know we did the math to where I wanted to be out here away from this yep. thing. When that wall completes, you kind of like to see the wall standing right here. Yep. And that gives me, then I'll build the dirt over the roof. Yeah. On your wall, you can take some shots and you're gonna figure out how deep you have to be. Are you putting stories in the gravel? No. So so the gravel should be, the hole should be 16, I think is what I counted. 10 inches of base and an inch for every foot of, foot of wall. The peak of that wall is five feet. Okay. It's right here. And it's not even five. It's like four and a half. So I added, um, so that's a 10 plus four, right? Plus you're supposed to put a brick in the ground, which is, yeah. So it gets you to 20 inches, is what the deep, the, the depth is. Do whatever you think is best. Do you want to spray it first? The route? Okay. Thank you. Okay. Because I know it makes you feel good. Come from. Mm -hmm. That's what the, we're here for. Can I just get on the same page and then have a good plan? But, yes, no, no. Um, so I think we're going to still cut into the hill here. Right, because we're you're making a square. Yep. And by the time you come back the other way here, it looks like we got to be over here, squared out and then out. Okay. Okay. You want to spray it? Yep. I do. And then I'll put the other bucket on and I'll move some more of that dirt. Why do you need to put the other bucket? Oh, it's more efficient. More efficient, but it doesn't matter. Then we're not that much. But if I get me a line where I know I need to go to, then okay. That's. Welcome back to Changing Latitudes. On this day, we started our retaining wall. If you remember in the prior video, we did a lot of pre-work in this area. 
Uh, we made sure that we had a French drain in. We moved the water hydrants and started leveling out the ground with some quality dirt. So as you have just seen, uh, Ron and I are laying out the plan. This is going to be about a four and a half foot wall that will be in the middle, about 50 feet, four and a half feet tall. But as it gets down to the sides, it'll cascade down to about a two foot wall. I got the, uh, uh, the, the machine out of the way, because I knew you got upset with me last time when it was in the way. Yeah. <laughs> uh. One day I'll get upset and then you go, oh, that's what, that's what Ron does when he's upset. <laughs> Are you like a quiet rageaholic? Yeah, if I'm really upset, then I throw out a couple F-bombs and then it's oh, like, yeah? I'm done for the year. Done for the year? You cleared it? Yep. <laughs> I wish I could. you want to do the 25 and the 27 real quick so we get that last shot yeah you want me to move this no i don't think so i think we're good right. okay. i know you want the important in. i do hey if you don't place that in right it's bad of course your pocket's right in the damn way an inch or two off huh be an inch or two off and that would be a terrible thing okay and there's 25 there's 27 and you know, roughly here. Oh. Okay. We got this end just fine. Oh, holy shit. Why are we off that far? No, we went 23. Ah. Ah. You can just get this out of here. See, I did. I asked you that for a reason. And see, no, see. The hell? 23 still looks rough. Come on, let's go up here. The house is square. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's get this measurement right here. Where are you going? Well, let's just start it up a whole bunch. Yeah, that's 23 here. Well, you know, I think what it is, is the extension of your paint line was done at an angle. Yeah, that was just kind of a... <laughs> You know, I was messing with you actually on them lines there because I was using the outside. And yeah. You see, I put a squiggly there for you. And yeah, stuff. you did. Building this retaining wall was a first for me. I've never done one. So I did a ton of research on the internet and the YouTube community on what were the rules of how to build one. So, of course, you know, one of the first things you have to decide in doing this is how deep to cut the base. Uh, so this was something that I looked into, you know, the rule that I finally settled on after listening to several folks was a 10 inch base and then for every foot of wall add an inch of base to it. So in our particular case that would sit somewhere around, uh, you know, 15 inches for a base, 14 to 15 inches for the base. And then of course you have to sink one brick into the ground. So about 20, 21 inches of base would have to be put in before I could put in one brick.
of the things I wish I had done when putting in the first bricks was take off the back tab, that inch by inch tab that holds the gravity wall from sliding forward. In the bottom layer that was the first layer put into the ground, I should have taken off that tab. It was just something that I had to ultimately uh, carve a little line into the, the rock and make sure that it, we placed it down on top of it. The base is three quarter clean grade A rock. On top of that, just so that I could level just a tad was some quarter inch clean basalt rock so that I could make sure that I could you know, easily pound it in. Now, one of the mistakes I've made here in this phase was I wasn't using a large enough dead blow. So ultimately, I had purchased a dead blow later on that would uh, drive it into uh, the ground a little bit easier so that we wouldn't have to uh, kill myself along the way. One of the things that you have to do when building a retaining wall with open ends is cut a brick in half. Obviously, if you just used a saw cut, it would look you know, unappealing. So the thing you're supposed to do, I guess, is to go ahead and cut this thing in, in half by using a chisel or a brick breaker, which I didn't have, and uh, you know, bust it up and it would break naturally, and it did. After a couple strokes, you, uh, or should I say a couple hundred strokes, you finally get it to be broken and it, and it looks really nice. Now, as I got working with it further and further, uh, got better with it and, and, and ultimately uh, produced a better result in a shorter period of time. purchased these bricks from Belgard. This is the Victorian blend. It is a very attractive uh, retaining wall uh, block. Of course, in the manufacturing process, there's always these, uh, if you will, hanging chads or uh, dimples or extra pieces of cement that you have to chip off. I didn't do that in the first layer here that I put down above ground and you know came to to you know pay the price for that down the road you have to remove those extra bumps if 
you don't, then it throws your wall offline a bit. So all that perfect work you did to place the bricks into the ground originally, of course, would come offline. So I had to rework that to make sure that the wall was correctly built. Many of the pallets with the bricks on it had to be placed into the area, frankly, because our tractor does not have enough horsepower to lift such pallets. I actually had to have uh, Ron bring in the skid steer and put them into place before I could start. It gave me quite the exercise to go back and forth to the wall with the bricks. But hey, listen, it isn't like I couldn't use the exercise. Place the drain tile behind the first level of the bricks to make sure that we were alleviating any hydraulic pressure behind the wall. The area was tight. Of course, when trying to put in the rock, I could either do it by bucket, which would have been painful, or by the bucket of the tractor. Unfortunately, the tractor was kind of wedged in here and it was difficult to get the bucket into the spot.
area wedged between the house and the retaining wall. We did use the UTV to back up and dump some rock. It was a great idea. However, when dumping it all out, you were left behind with these rocks that were wedged into the cracks of the UTV.
first foot of the retaining wall completed, I proceeded to use the compactor to get the rock compressed as it should be. In part two, we will finish this retaining wall. Look forward to seeing you.